Every year, approximately 100,000 children in California are placed in out-of-home foster care referred either through child welfare or probation departments. Rosemary Children's Services' mission is to provide compassionate and therapeutic support to help these children, adolescents, and families heal from their pasts and move toward productive and fulfilling futures. There's a great big mystery, and it sure is worrying me. In 1920, Emma Spear and other members from the Pasadena Shakespeare Club found a need to help children who had suffered abuse, neglect, and or abandonment that were sent to juvenile hall as their only alternative. Selecting a quote from Shakespeare's Hamlet, There's Rosemary, that's for remembrance. Pray you, love, remember. To inspire the agency's name, Rosemary Cottage, they established a shelter program for teenage girls providing a home for 10 girls and a house mother. Making Rosemary Cottage an official corporation, the women of the Pasadena Shakespeare Club file their Articles of Incorporation with the State of California on October the 4th, 1923. Eight years after opening the doors to its teen shelter program, in 1928 the women of the Pasadena Shakespeare Club completed construction on The Cottage, a residential home capable of housing 19 teenage girls. In the 1940s, in order to meet the standards of the Los Angeles and Pasadena Community Chest, now known as the United Way, Rosemary Cottage made property improvements, hired a team of social workers, and introduced treatment services for girls and their families. In August 1948, Rosemary Cottage became an official nonprofit organization receiving exempt status under the IRS Section 501c3. In 1960, the Bonnie House was acquired, becoming Rosemary Cottage's first group home for six teenage girls, launching the group home program for troubled teenage girls. Started in 1962, the inaugural An Evening with Star Chefs event was held, a fundraising event to benefit Rosemary Cottage and the Chefs de Cuisine Association. July 1966, the 500 House in Pasadena opened its doors to serve an additional six teenage girls. Donated by Mr. Robert Romberger in February 1970, the Romberger House was Rosemary Cottage's first group home in the city of South Pasadena, housing six teenage girls. With its expansion of programs and services, Rosemary Cottage officially changed its name on March 3, 1993 to Rosemary Children's Services. In 1994, Rosemary Children's Services added a licensed foster family agency, placing children in loving and supportive homes. In 1996, the Rosemary School opened its doors, a non-public and private school providing quality education focused on individual student needs. Needing more room for therapeutic and nursing services, Rosemary Children's Services administrative offices moved from 3244 East Green Street, its location since 1928, to down the street to 36 South Kinaloa Avenue. With over 30 years in the social services sector, Greg Wessels joined Rosemary Children's Services administrative team as chief executive officer in the spring of 2000. Further expanding the group home program, in June 2002, Rosemary Children's Services acquired the Greenhouse, Rosemary Children's Services' fourth group home. 
Responding to the growing mental health needs of the teenage girls in the residential treatment program, in 2003, Rosemary Children's Services began providing on-grounds mental health services, operating in partnership with the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health. With an emphasis in permanency for its children and youth, Rosemary Children's Services adds adoption services to its foster family agency. 2007, construction of Rosemary Children's Services on-ground school library is completed, offering students an array of books and materials and promoting learning and academic achievement. In 2008, Rosemary Children's Services completed construction on the Cottage Kitchen Remodel Project, now equipped as a commercial kitchen with stainless steel appliances and a walk-in refrigerator, the Cottage Kitchen provides over 20,000 individual meals annually. In August 2008, the Council on Accreditation COA, awarded accreditation to Rosemary Children's Services and recognized the agency as an outstanding provider. Rosemary Children's Services opened its doors to its transitional housing program in 2009, providing women ages 18 to 24 who are at risk of becoming homeless with transitional housing and comprehensive supportive services. Adding to the comprehensive services offered at Rosemary Children's Services, in 2010, Rosemary Children's Services implemented two new programs, Intensive Treatment Foster Care Services, which provides an alternative to higher-level group homes, and Therapeutic Behavioral Services, which provides behavior modeling, structure, and support, and immediate frequent one-to-one -one behavior interventions. On July 12, 2010, the Rosemary School received WASC, Western Accreditation of School and Colleges, accreditation, ensuring a quality educational experience for all of its students. In October 2010, Rosemary Children's Services completed construction of its Cottage Youth Fitness Center, encouraging healthy living habits and positive self-images. And where does Rosemary Children's Services go from here? With thousands of children and youth entering the foster care system every day, our mission is to provide compassionate and therapeutic support to these children, adolescents, and families continues. With your support, Rosemary Children's Services hopes to continue to help these children, adolescents, and families heal from their pasts and move toward productive and fulfilling futures. When one door closes, another opens. But we so often look so long and so regretfully that we do not see the one which is open for us. Keep this message in mind about Rosemary's. They opened a door for your mind. Take it and never let it go.